Welcome to Shaman Man, a channel for spiritual growth and personal development. We hope you find this video helpful, and if you do, please like, subscribe, and leave us a comment letting us know what you think. We're glad you're here. Be well. Hey everyone, it's David. Welcome to Shaman Man. Many of us are challenged with being authentic. I remember having a conversation this week with someone and she was kind of worried about, well, what would people think of me? And I had to sit with that for a second and I discussed with her the concept that being authentic means you first have to be comfortable with yourself and that you might be a little quirky, you might be uh, not normal, not not cut out of the same cloth as everyone else, or at least interested in the same kinds of things as everyone else seems to be interested in. And that's a beautiful thing. You know, we spend a lot of time on the outside thinking about, well, what if this happened and what would they say about me? Or what if this occurs, how will I be perceived? And I wonder really how important that is. I know from my experience, it doesn't seem to be that important. Whether you like me now doesn't mean necessarily you're going to like what I do in the next 10 minutes, and that will shift things. Now, when you're an energy sensitive, you get to experience the person's shift in moods, particularly about you, um, and so that becomes a little disheartening sometimes. But in general, uh, people are fickle. In general, people have a very small attention span. If you're concerned about being viewed as a flake or being viewed as um, foo-foo or, you know, out there or whatever, don't worry about it. You need to be comfortable with you. You need to be okay that sometimes you're goofy. Sometimes you might be impulsive. Um, sometimes you might not think through an entire situation and act upon that, but it's always with the bestest of intentions, right? Like, it's one thing to be malicious, it's one thing to try to cause harm, but when you're an experiential being, when for you to really gain the information that you need to process, you have to feel it, you have to sense it, you have to experience it, live it, um, you're going to take some tracks that most people aren't going to take. Most people don't take those tracks, by the way, out of fear. Out of fear of losing what they already have or out of fear of the unknown and not sure how that translates into wh who and what they are now. And a lot of times fear that what if they do this and something changes for them where they can't go back to what they were. Be happy that you're not weighed down by some of that. Be happy that you want to experience what it means to express yourself in this place. That's what's needed, is you expressing yourself in this place with the bestest intentions possible. Much love.